No respite for Lebanese politicians. Whether in cafes or in shopping centres, they're now chased out by activists whenever they appear in public. It's a new phenomenon that reflects the extent of popular discontent. The Vice President of Parliament, Eli Fertzli, and his deputy, Sami Fatvat, recently paid the price while eating out at restaurants in the capital. This is unacceptable behaviour because it doesn't represent the will of the people. It's a disrespect for the law that aims to bring the regime down. But that won't happen. People raise their voices because they're suffering. But I don't know what will happen if they go after politicians in restaurants. Not all politicians are involved in corruption cases. As far as the activists are concerned, from now on, they're adopting this method to denounce the inaction of authorities in the face of a social, economic and political crisis which has unsettled the country for months. They've destroyed the country. So this is a way to put pressure on them. Chasing them into restaurants is the least you can do. It's the most minimal reaction to their actions. Nearly three months since the start of protests in Lebanon, the population continues to call for anti-corruption measures and early legislative elections. The country is still waiting for a new cabinet to be appointed.